Okay, I'm making this video because I have clients and friends and family that want to know why I can't go out or why they can't come over to work or, yeah, you know, the whole bit. So the ice, uh, I mean, it's dripping from the overhead. It melts a little bit uh, from the canopy and then becomes icier i keep salting it doesn't matter but i'm going to take a little walk by the way if i fall don't laugh too hard because i almost went down yesterday um the driveway is actually melting uh, pretty well i cleared this section through here um and the circle's doing pretty well i didn't do anything to that that's just getting a lot of sunlight but I think I took a spill, or almost took a spill right here. So I'm going to walk very gingerly. Um, this isn't the... Got to walk very gingerly through here. This isn't the worst of it. This actually has gotten much better since yesterday. All of this through here was ice. All of this was ice yesterday, so that's good. But you'll see the problem. I got to be very careful because... You can go down real quick, so the key is to stay on the snow. But as you can see from us trekking up and down, okay, see then, now this is where the problem starts. This is all a sheet of ice. But that's not even the worst part. Hopefully I'll get to the worst part without killing myself. It's all ice, and I mean sheet of ice, right? Like. Let's be serious here, this is thick, because we've been in the single digits most days. Yeah, you heard me right, single digits. And we've gotten into double digits a couple days, but the only reason it melts at all, like if you saw the circle up there, is because of direct sunlight, but then, you know, it freezes almost instantly. So I'm gonna show you the real problem. So some of this has even gotten, well, we got a little bare ground there, but this is all solid ice. And where you really gotta be careful, because I've walked up and down twice. I went down to meet my mailman yesterday to get the mail, but you can see where people have gone in and out of their driveways and it's solid ice. So we're gonna try not to kill ourselves here. Right, okay, all right, that's good. And again, solid ice, solid ice, solid ice, all the way down. But the real problem is there's a sharp dip up here coming up in this hill. And that sharp dip is a doozy. And once you hit that dip, if you haven't spun out all through here, um, and this is all solid ice, as you can see, if you haven't spun out through here, right over here at the crest of the hill here, it then goes straight down. And that's solid ice. So that's why I haven't been able to go out, kids. I thought you should see this, because this is what we've been dealing with. So I don't know, yeah, maybe, maybe I can go a little further without killing myself. But right there, as you can see, that's the real issue. It drops off pretty sharply, and then there's a hill to the left. And in some ways, the hill to the left here that gets you down to the main road is somewhat more treacherous than this. And even if you get this far and make it down, you're gonna slide through the stop sign and the intersection. And uh, you just hope nobody's coming. So yeah, that's my little hill. And then like I said, there's another hill that takes you down to the main road. And that one's got a pretty sharp uh, crest to it as well. And that's covered with ice. It's all ice. It's all ice. It's all ice. So that's why I haven't been able to get out or work or go get more food or whatever. All right. Peace and out.